Election years are usually characterized by political violence, and this year, 2020, is no exception. Uh, the police has announced that it has identified some 6,000 plus flashpoints or hotspots, if you like, and uh, has also announced that it will be deploying some 64,000 plus security personnel. But how do electorates in these particular flashpoints or hotspots feel about the upcoming elections? Ayawaso West Wagon constituency is one of the flashpoints identified by the police. Recall that in January of 2018, there was a by-election that resulted in some level of violence. Now, the just-held voter registration exercise also recorded some violence. And so in this edition of the City Newsroom, we're going around some of the flashpoints to speak to the stakeholders to find out what the make of the upcoming December polls. Join me as we start off from the Ayawaso West Wagon constituency. So this is the area where most of the action happened on that faithful January 31 day uh, here at the Ayawaso West Wagon constituency precisely the Baoleshi area, uh, you can still see some bullet holes uh, in a container in the area. We understand uh, this is where one of the victims suffered an injury uh, in the leg. And so we want to find out from the residents here if this has put any level of fear in them, if there's some sort of panic, if they are willing to go out on December 7 to cast their ballot. And so I want to speak to some gentlemen in here and pick their thoughts on this matter. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about But the ACNT, I'm going to vote in the voter. How do you know how to vote? I'm going to vote in the voter. 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 End of the... The day they go vote, I will go by my voter region to go. Who should say they see a done in the business? Eh, Bahamas, a bit me a see. Because a year in Susa, say a bit see na a see. That day, we be frame a crampo. Ne, me crampo free ya. And do five minutes na a day in a see. Ente, na kan mi waha, me ne me say. A bit see umi suwa na. Me ti a see a na me ti a see. Ente, me ko, me vote ni njina na yon voter region si see a me ne uke sa. But I have voted in party there, Miss Rupa. Because I'm secret, you know, secret, I work on as you see, in fact, a poor mommy, Miss Ru. Are you scared at all to go and vote? Yes, yes, I'm scared. Mm. Because I was here before the thing happened. So that day, I'm very lucky that I just left about uh, 30 minutes ago before the thing left, and the thing happened. So even this year, I'm, I'm uh, very, very scared to vote. But if only the security will be tight, then I think my heart will come down, then I can vote. Oh, what I would say is that if the time reached for voting, we are going to close this place to avoid trouble. That's the only thing I can say. So, what about where we are now? First, now me too. Now, I hear them. Yes, yes, Miss Rose. Another vote, you know. It just how stories in the corner were chrome, chrome, no. Miss Robium. And they made me vote. I call me chrome. But your region, mate. Eh, vote our region. Okay. Now, see, I know. Eh, I say me see. I know me see me make compensation. You will second. I want to meet baby with Sam. Say I hear them. Maybe Miss Simi to meet her. She said, "I want to meet him. They are more intimidating. I can't tell. Meet him. I want to meet him." I think no. Nature say December seven. Yadi Albert two about Paulicia. Now who are the people? Police for Musa. I'm betting my boy is home by. See, see, ah, eh, eh. Police for Uncle Sam. I want to meet Musa. I want to meet the ah. Eh, you know, this so see, see, ah. Why am I obia ko wom unisaid? Inti di esi sore BBC huso huso a wuko police station na 
What's there? What's there? Me, me, me. Same thing. Same thing. So, see, I mean, found a couple of stations. They are met to me. I am. Me, yeah. Me fighting for me. So, those were the thoughts of some uh, electorate here at La Baolishi in the Ayawaso West Wogong constituency, uh, expressing their thoughts there on whether or not they have confidence in the security services ahead of the December polls. I think this election is going to be a peaceful election because based on what I'm seeing, the security system now they have put in place here is very tight. So I think nothing is going to happen like what uh, happened last time. What kind of security system are you talking about? Actually, I've been seeing police around, the military around. So I think since the incident that happened earlier on, I think this, thing, this place has been a flashpoint nowadays. So they are going to implement the high security and I think they have mounted some cameras around, so I think all those implementations is going to help this Ayawaso election to be successful. Do you vote here in Ayawaso West Wogong? Yes, please. So on December 7, you go out to exercise your franchise? Yeah. Do you have confidence in the security agencies to see to a peaceful election? I don't even want to talk about the police because I have a lot of issues with them. And... Even this traffic lights, people jump this traffic light. Every day, if you don't take time, a car will knock you down. How much more? you not seeing them here until elections. As for the police, I don't really trust them. But I, as I said, I'm only hoping that we will do the right thing, that we will, not, we will not engage in any brawl or something. I'm only hoping for the best. So those were the views of some uh, electorates here at the Ayawaso West Wogong constituency, specifically the Baoleshi area. But the two main political parties uh, have assured their constituents of peace before, during and after the December 7 elections. This constituency has been the most peaceful constituency, but for the last by-election, we want to tell everyone out there that we love peace, we are peaceful, loving people. So we pledge peace. And for all constituents listening to me, Ayawaso West must be peaceful and the rest of the country. It's just election. It's just an election. Let's go through it peacefully and let's all come out one people and one nation. That is what we are. We shouldn't allow politics to divide us. We shouldn't allow politics to create unnecessary tension for us in this country. Whatever transpired during the by-election is a shame to Ghana and specifically Ayawaso. He's trying to redeem that image by his demeanor, how he talks to the people, and he assured them that as far as he's concerned, um, elections should be peaceful. And as youth as he is, he will not organize youth to foment trouble on election day. So he's encouraging everybody to peacefully come out on that very day. Come and vote early. Go home and relax. During the counting, come and protect the vote that you gave to him. Do you understand? It will be painful that somebody will vote for John Dumelo and during the counting, that vote will not be counted. Nobody will countenance that. So we are encouraging everybody to come out and we are telling the government to that it is their responsibility to make peace known to the people, to let the people know that whatever will happen, peace is the only door that will give us victory and progress as a nation.